In addition to having a mean to quantify acute or chronic pain, clinicians must also consider the influence of a patient's culture when assessing pain. Pain is a phenomenon with both personal and cultural meanings. It is well known to healthcare providers that while patients may experience the same surgical procedure, the same treatment interventions, and receive the same pain medications, pain responses and expressions of pain differ significantly among patients. Cultural groups based on ethnic, religious, geographic, and socioeconomic factors can significantly impact a particular patient's response to pain. As stated earlier, a patient's culture may define what the meaning ascribed to the pain experience is, as well as his or her response to the pain assessment tool. Furthermore, cultural practices may affect the choice of treatment methods, as well as compliance with treatment plans developed by the healthcare professionals. For example, patients from Western cultures may be more receptive to treating pain pharmaceutically, whereas patients from Eastern cultures may prefer alternative type treatments, such as acupuncture or herbal remedies. To more effectively assess and manage pain, clinicians should include culturally sensitive pain assessments that elicit information concerning patients' and family members' beliefs about the pain experience. Click the two images on the screen to explore examples of how people from different cultures may respond differently to pain. When you have viewed both examples, you may click the Next button to move forward in the course. Let's consider a Native American patient who had just suffered a crushed foot injury and rated his pain level at a 4 out of 10 on a numerical scale. Unless you understand that the number 4 is the sacred and spiritual number for many Native Americans, you may not be aware that this rating did not accurately reflect this patient's pain severity. Additionally, the Native American patient may choose not to ask for pain medication, believing it would be impolite because it could imply that he is questioning the judgment and expertise of healthcare providers. Clinicians may misinterpret this thinking that the Native American is passive and uninterested in his care, when in fact, the patient is demonstrating respect for the provider through silence and listening.